Hayfield. I am Mr. Zywall, and uh, you are joining me here from my quarantine office. You can see quite a quite a tough spot to be in, um, but I want to welcome everybody to our first ever virtual senior Oscar night. We're glad you can tune in for some good humor and to celebrate your class one more time despite these crazy circumstances. And I'm joined with my good friend, Mr. Bush. Thanks, Mr. Zywall. We recognize how difficult it's been to be stripped away of all of your senior activities and the special things that come with being a senior. And we wish so deeply that we could be there together with you in the auditorium right now. Um, tonight we have 35 categories and a total of 70 Oscars. Uh, we've had a great four years with you all and we're so excited to celebrate with you uh, before you go your separate ways. So uh, we hope that you have fun while you remember, laugh, and enjoy these memories and moments with us. Oh, hey, they say that one's eyes are the mirror to their soul. The following nominees can capture just about anyone with just a quick glance. The female nominees for Best Eyes are Amelia Henderson, Olivia Friend, Sarah Lewis, and Madison Hughes. The winner is Amelia Henderson. The male nominees for Best Eyes are Connor Walter, Sadia al Shakali, Scott Good, and Craig Smith. And the winner is Sadia. Congrats, guys, even though my eyes are prettier. Next up, we have Miss Johnson presenting Best Hair Award. Hey, guys, Miss Johnson here. So, I am here to announce our nominees for. Oh, uh, hold on one second. That's better. So, you guys know that there's very little that you can control in high school, hair being one of those things. But these nominees have never had a bad hair day, and I suspect that also includes in quarantine. These are your female nominees for best hair. So we have Sabrina Elma, Ella McCauley, Nora El Bedouar, and Moran Wodeselesi. And our winner is... Nora El Bedouar. Congratulations, Nora. And now for our male nominees, we have Isaiah Mamo, Connor Walter, Xavier Cruz, Ben Tyryar, and Amr Magoob. And our winner is Xavier Cruz. Congratulations, Xavier. We all envy your luscious locks. So next, we're gonna have Miss Kamanda with our Best Smile Award. Thank you, Miss Johnson. The phrase, smiles are contagious, couldn't be more true with these people. With just a smack, these people have the ability to make smile fill the room. The following nominees have smiles that will always be remembered. The female nominees for Best Smiles are Mahawa Adadi, Annie Laurel Latresh, Mia Pandangana, and Zande Wong. And the winner is Mia Pandangana. The male nominees for Best Smiles are Ben Tiaya, Ethan Alika, Sergio Castro, and Sabal Bata. The winner is Ethan Alika. We appreciate you brightening up the classrooms. We now ask you all to direct your attention to Miss Peno, who will be announcing the Best Dress Award. Take it over, Miss Peno. What to wear? Green, always a good choice. But, you can never go wrong with polka dots. 
However, never underestimate the power of a good elbow patch. I don't know. I guess we'll just have to go with this old thing. So, the following nominees are always dressed for success. The hallways at school have become their runways. You can always count on them to be sporting the latest trends, looking classy and sophisticated. Your female nominees are Leah Benyam, Aisha Kamara, Jillian Obordo, Lauren Payne, and Caitlin Stiles. And the winner is Leah Benyam! Congratulations, Leah! And now for your male nominees. First, Nas Battle. Adam Santani, Mutasim Chowdhury, and Javier Hurtado. Your winner is Adam Santani. Congratulations, Adam. Now, I know your classmates voted you guys to be best dressed of 2020, but I think we can all agree that I take the crown in the school. Am I right? Now, up next is Coach Quigley with the award for best laugh. All right, Hayfield seniors, my name is Coach Quigley and I'll be presenting Best Laugh. These students have a contagious giggle. Their cackle can be recognized from a mile away and always seems to lighten the mood. The female nominees for Best Laugh are Mia Pagdanan, Marie Thomas Sinde, Sydney Payne, and Chanel Christie. And the winner is Marie Thomas Sinde. The male nominees for Best Laugh are Amar Magoob, Mike Lee, Joshua Ball, and John Briner. And the winner is Joshua Ball. You two sure know how to leave your mark on this school. And next, to the camera, we have my twin, Miss Lamro, presenting the Best Ox Award. Hey, Miss Lamro. Miss Lamro. These students always have their headphones on in the hallways. They're hip to all the latest songs with playlists in every genre. We can always depend on them for making a party or even a long car ride lit with their playlists. Here are the nominees for Best Ox of 2020. The female nominees are Natalie Morales, Moran Willis Selassie, Sam Lebick, and Cabron Jarawark. And the winner is Cabron Jarawark. The male nominees are Samuel Graziano, Hussam El Kaswani, Adam Santani, and Amr Magoo. And the winner is Samuel Graziano. Congratulations to you both. Next up in the spotlight are our classmates with the best whips being presented by Mr. Hong. When you are younger, you dream of finally being able to drive. The wind in your hair, the sun in your face, and the freedom from your parents. Most kids get their parents' cars, but these lucky individuals, their cars are the most envied by everyone, including teachers. The female nominees for Best Whip are Rita Ahmad, Cameron Cow, Michaela Longbaca, and Jackie Freebus. And the winner goes to... Jackie Freebus. The male nominees for Best Whip are James Aquino, Brandon Doe, Ansh Gupta, Amar Magoob, and Musa Mansoor. And the winner is Musa Mansoor. Protect those babies at all cost, guys. Now, let's give our attention to Mr. Peterson, our favorite school sub, who will be presenting the Best to Bring Home to Family Award. Hello. Well, hi, Mr. Hong. Well, I'm up. Ah, terrific. Well, thank you for letting me know. Bye. Hello, class of 2020. 
I'm Alan Peterson. And as you can see, I've been hard at work preparing for this presentation. Uh, I'm going to be presenting on the Best to Bring Home to Family Award. And it's an award that, that recognizes the student that best exemplifies the traits that parents are looking for. Sincerity, generosity, courtesy, and kindness. And when you meet parents, those are the things that will give you smiles rather than the stink eye. It's been my pleasure to have, have worked at Hayfield as a substitute teacher for the past several years. And it's been a real treat watching this class grow and develop from chicks into hawks. And I have every confidence that you guys will have a very bright future ahead of you. Probably so bright I'll need my sunglasses. So without further ado, it's my pleasure to introduce the candidates, the nominees for Best to Bring Home to Family. In alphabetic order, the nominees are Addie Biash, Kaylin Brown, Katie Lynn Elif, and Marina Pena. And in the male category, the nominees are Johnny Goshu, Greg Smith, Caleb Tessima, and Ben Tyre. It was a very tight race. Everyone was a popular candidate, but I'm pleased to announce the winners. And in the female category, the winner is Marina Pena. And in the male category, the winner is Iron Ben Tyre. To, to Miss Pena and Mr. Tyre. And now it's my pleasure to pass the ball to Miss Allen, who is going to make a presentation on Most Improved. Everyone went through a rough phase of adolescence. These years have been rough with glasses, braces, or maybe just keeping the baby face a little longer than everyone else. But after the tough years, these people have blossomed into fine adults. The female nominees for Most Improved are Alina Gafour, Elani Butler, Mackenzie Warchalock, and Naomi Morales. And our winner is Naomi Morales. The male nominees for Most Improved are John Briner, Ashraf Murad, Micah Jones, and Ben Tyrar. And our winner is Micah Jones. <laughs> Thank goodness for puberty, am I right? Oh, just kidding, you guys have always been beautiful. On a personal note, I would like to congratulate the class of 2020. And as a fellow Hawk alumni, I am so proud to share the status of Hayfield alumni with you all. I just want you to know I'm very proud of you. Good luck in your future endeavors. And I'll show you my best glow up. This is my high school graduation picture. And next, to present the most clutch award, we have Mr. Howick. Whenever you need something, whether it be lotion after gym class, pencils when you forget your supplies, or homework help, they are ready to help anyone and everyone at all times. These people come in clutch when you may need good advice or are desperate for a ride to the game. The female nominees for most clutch are Abinesh Girma, Renee Smith, Jasmine Cheng, and Tina Nyaner. The winner is Renee Smith. The male nominees are Robert Coburn, Samuel Graziano, Christopher Stevens, and Mike Lee. The winner is Chris Stevens. Please welcome Mr. Gillespie, who will now be presenting the most underrated award. Thanks, Mr. Howick. These students are the ones you always have a positive image of. You never really hear about them a lot, but you've always recognized how smart they are and their beautiful outward appearance. They've been underrated without getting the recognition they deserve until now. So here are the most underrated but awesome classmates of 2020. The female nominees for most underrated are Acacia McKay, Neilani Butler, Miamar Burgos Rosario, and Caitlin Stiles. And the winner is Caitlin Stiles. Congratulations, you're the winner. The male nominees are James Kim, Darius Jack, Sergio Castro, Johnny Goshu, and Ben Tyrar. And the winner is Sergio Castro. Congratulations, Sergio. Let's now direct our attention to the wonderful, the incomparable Miss Dash, who will be presenting the award for Most School Spirited. Take it away, Miss Dash. Thanks, Mr. Gillespie. These are the people that you can expect to see at all the sporting events decked out in orange. 
They are continually cheering on our sports team every Friday, no matter the score. Over the past four years, they have proven to be the most spirited kids at Hayfield. The female nominees for the most school spirit are Lena Zenya, Leah Solomon, Danite Girme, and Emma Andreas. And the winner is Lena Zenya. Great job, Lena. The male nominees for the most school spirit are Manuel Domtu, Eric Burnell, Tracy Hall, and Craig Smith. And the winner is Eric Burnell. Great job, Eric. Keep rocking the orange, you guys. And next up, we have Miss Legender presenting the Most Likely to Brighten Your Day Award. These nominees are students that you see in the hallway and you immediately have a smile on your face, even on a Monday. The female nominees for Most Likely to Brighten Your Day are Zandi Wong, Arisha Raymond, Sarah Wilsey, and Alexa Meza Avalos. And this year's winner is Sarah Wilsey. Congratulations. The male nominees to most likely brighten your day are Hussam El Kaswani, Elvis Romero Vale, Ben Tyre, and Stefan Toussaint. This year's winner, Elvis Romero Vale. Congratulations. Thank you for always brightening up our hallways. Congratulations, class of 2020. Next, please join me in welcoming Coach Dricky, who will be presenting on camera the most likely to break the bank. Miss Legender, thank you for brightening our day with those shining winners. To the class of 2020, no class, and I mean no class ever, can say they went out like your class did. Shout out and applause for making it this far in spite of all of the challenges. Me, myself, I just got done doing a little bank breaking of my own quarantine style. This year's senior class had some folks that know how to spend some money, like it's their job. They have no limit and buy anything and everything they want when they want it. Spoiled is what some would call these kings and queens of financial luxury, but we're gonna gas it up a little bit and say that they are most likely to break the bank. Your female nominees for most likely to break the bank are Cameron Cow, Casey Gilson, Amelie Murphy, and Maha Nagash. The winner is Cameron Cow. The male nominees are Samuel Ofo, Musa Mansour, Anch Gupta, and Amar Magu. The male winner is Anch Gupta. Congratulations to you both. Be careful with those spendings going into college, guys. Next up, we have the very presidential Mr. Zywall presenting the Most Likely to Become President Award. Okay, these students possess an abundance of knowledge regarding politics. They are the ones debating in class, usually my class, since all of these students are students of mine, which is great. Uh, about their opinions, you will see them volunteering for political campaigns on the weekends, and you'll be bombarded with opinionated posts on their social media after a new scandal surfaces. Any of these candidates would definitely have my vote for president. The female nominees for most likely to become president are Rebecca Esco, Leah Solomon, Olivia Henry, and Emma Andreas. And the winner is... Olivia Henry. Congratulations, Olivia. The male nominees for most likely to become president are Anson Trapani, Patrick Cloud, Javier Hurtado, and Amr Magoob. And the winner is Patrick Cloud. Congratulations, Pat. You all have an incredibly bright future ahead of you. We need students like you to improve our political system. I will now pass the mic over to Miss Austin. These are the next cast members of Survivor, The Bachelor, or House Husbands of Some City on the Upper East Side. We can expect them to be featured on MTV's latest hit shows when we click on the TV. They have bubbly personalities and are always set to entertain. The female nominees for Most Likely to be a Reality TV star are Amelia Henderson, Nalani Butler, Jalea Dozier, and Shamari Ublier. And the winner is Nalani Butler. The male nominees for most likely to be a reality TV star are Jamil Bonilla, Hussam Alkasuani, Awad Galaladin, Ethan Erlika, 
and John Briner. And the winner is Hussam al -Kastani. Congratulations, Nalani and Hussam. I look forward to your future TV appearances. Next up, we have Mr. Oliver presenting the most likely to be in Forbes 30 Under 30 Award. When the sky's the limit, these students try to go beyond that to reinvent the world. They are full of ambition and have no patience when trying to reach their goal. We expect them to accomplish many things before the age of 30. The female nominees for most likely to get on Forbes 30 Under 30 are Emma Andreas, Amelie Murphy, Olivia Henry, and Jocelyn Aka. The winner is Emma Andreas. The male nominees are Anson Trapani, Anj Gupta, Adam Yanis, and Adam Santani. The winner is Adam Yanis. Keep up the good work, guys. Now let's look to Ms. Kimmick, who will be presenting the most likely to win a real Oscar award. Thanks, Mr. Oliver. These people are not new to the theater world. Being on stage is their second nature. They love to put on a show no matter the genre. You might even see them on the big screen. The female nominees for most likely to win a real Oscar are Daniela Catatora, Scarlett Alexander, Janelle Lenore, and Gabby Silva. And the Oscar goes to Scarlett Alexander. Congratulations. Our male nominees are Corbin Farrell, Bryn Spradlin, Ryan Petrus, and Jordan Talley. And the Oscar goes to Corbin Farrell. Congratulations. Woo! We can't wait to see what you do in the future on the big screen. Up next, we have Most Likely to Cure Corona, presented by Ms. Burbrick. These people love science and technology. They do not back down when the challenge comes their way. This award goes to the most innovative minds in our class that we believe will push the boundaries of science. The female nominees for Most Likely to Cure Corona are Farida al Sadeg, Sarah Syed, Leah Solomon, and Zandi Wong. The winner is Sarah Syed. The male nominees for Most Likely to Cure Corona are Jamil Bonilla, Anson Trapani, Luke Bulmer, and Adam Yonis. The winner is Jamil Bonilla. I hope you two can save us from this disaster. And now to follow along the lines of helping one another, please welcome Mr. Tonya presenting the Most Likely to Save the Planet Award. The following students treat our planet like every day is Earth Day. You might see them in the environmental club. You might see them picking up trash in volunteer groups. But you will always see them advocating for the well-being of our planet. The female nominees for most likely to save the planet are Casey Gilson, Abby Dyer, Sajai Supenklein, Scarlett Alexander, and Olivia Friend. And the winner is Abby Dyer. The male nominees for Most Likely to Save the Planet are Joshua Ball, Sabal Bata, Luke Bulmer, and Ben Tyre. And the winner is Luke Bulmer. Your dedication to the well-being of our planet is much appreciated. Now, on to some athletic hawks is Mr. Nolan with Most Likely to be on the cover of Sports Illustrated Magazine. Hawks. As you get older and older, you discover your natural talents, learning to use them to your advantage and become the very best you can. These nominees are future honorees in the Hall of Fame. Their dedication to sports gotten them scholarships, varsity letters, and all-around notoriety. The female nominees are Tiffany Bowie, Ashley Pearson, Sierra Wilsey, and Sierra Graham. The winner is Ashley Pearson. Woo! Congratulations to Ashley and all the girls. Next are the male nominees for most likely to be on the cover of Sports Illustrated are Micah Jones, Daniel Peterson, Chase Soper, Mike Lee, and Nas Battle. And the winner is Chase Soper. Woo! Congratulations, Chase, and to all the nominees. 
Your athletic careers have just begun, and we cannot wait to see you work at the collegiate level. And now, to recognize some of our dancing queens, our comedic geniuses, let's welcome Mr. Micah presenting the most likely to be on TikTok Famous Award. Hawks 2020, you rock. You're the best. Once a hawk, always a hawk. Love ya. These students have made it on the For You page a number of times, and their creative content never fails to entertain their friends. Here are the nominees for the most likely to be TikTok Famous. No? Oh, sorry. In our female category, Cabron Gearwork, Josie Bryant, Sierra Graham, and Mia Pangdanganon. The winner is Josie Bryant. The male nominees for most likely to be TikTok famous, Joshua Fry. Oh, Danielle Zafar, Steven Toussaint, and Ryan Petrus. And the winner is Joshua Fry. All of you guys have been truly amazing sharing your talents. Next, I'd like to welcome Miss Eckert, presenting Most Likely to Write a Best-Selling Novel. These nominees are some of Hayfield's best writers. We admire their ability to put their talents on paper. And the female nominees for Most Likely to Write a Best-Selling Novel are Marjan Nadiri, Olivia Henry, Sam Lebeck, and Emmy Brent. And the winner is Marjan Nadiri. The male nominees are Johnny Goshu, Anson Trapani, Daniel Zafar, and Javier Hurtado. And the winner is Johnny Goshu. Congratulations. I can't wait to see some of your work published one day. Continuing down our artistic path is Miss Longshore, who will present most likely to be the next Picasso. Hi seniors and congratulations to the class of 2020. We're so very proud of you and wish you well. Now, we recognize our best artists. These students spend hours crafting the perfect painting. They may have even contributed to the wonderful murals around the school. Please welcome the nominees for most likely to be the next Picasso. The female nominees for most likely to be the next Picasso are Mylan Ray, Acacia McCabe, Nadia Bangura, Juhei Kim, and Jessica Huin. And the winner is Juhei Kim. Congratulations, Juhei. Now, our male nominees are Tyler Manley, Robert Coburn, Shane Michelson, and Mutasium Chowdhury, and Ashraf Murad. And the winner is Robert Coburn, congratulations, Robert. We all admire your artistic abilities. Best of luck with your work in the future. Now, to recognize some of our Hawks that may not even be tuned in right now, here is Ms. Passano to present the most likely to be late to virtual graduation. Oh my gosh. These students have a history of being late whether it be to class, a presentation, or their own birthday party. They never seem to know what it means to be punctual. The female nominees for most likely to be late to virtual graduation are Chanel Christie, Danite Gourmet, Daniela Katakora, and Lena Lamagahi. And the winner is Lena. Congratulations. Our male nominees include Ilana Bo. Caleb Tesma, Mitchell Burgos, Jordan Talley, and Diego Lemus. The winner is Mitchell. Congrats, Mitchell. Hopefully they knew to join in to this video. And now to present the worst case of senioritis award is Mr. Brennan. This seemed like the perfect time to try out one of the masks I made for next year's Nerdy Mass Monday. The dreaded senioritis is a disease many have suffered from long before you were seniors. Some may say that my male RBF parallels the looks that you all have had as you anxiously awaited graduation day. So for those of you that never saw me smile once in four years, here's my gift to you, a big smile. Now moving on to the nominees. The female nominees 
for worst case of senioritis are Ikra Fazal, Leah Solomon, Gabriella Walker, and Ellie Ahn. And the winner is Ikra Fazal. The male nominees for worst case of senioritis are Caleb Tessima, James Landon, Taha Rado, and Johnny Goshu. And the winner is Caleb Tessima. Thankfully, you guys have all made it, and we hope to celebrate you all soon. Next up is Miss Shiley to recognize our celebrity lookalikes. Now, if I want to go out into public, I'm going to have to put on these sunglasses. It is so hard to be popular, but I guess for the award, I will take off the sunglasses. Walking down the hallways can sometimes be a struggle for these nominees. With such looks and attributes as the people of Hollywood or athletic professionals, nicknames are shouted out across the halls as well as the occasional photo shoot while they just try to get to class. The female nominees for Celebrity Lookalike are Leah Solomon as Zendaya, Sofia Pereira as Camila Mendez, Karijatu Dumbuya as Megan Thee Stallion, and Acacia McCabe as Alita from Alita Battle Angel. The winner is Acacia as Alita Battle Angel. The male nominees for Celebrity Lookalike are Elena Abu as Hank Hill, Ridley Stein as Christopher Mintz plus McLovin, Ben Tyre as Ellen DeGeneres, and CJ Carter as Little Bill. And the winner is CJ Carter as Little Bill. Now to announce the Class Clowns of 2020, please welcome Mr. Morgan. Some may say these people live in a class with their inappropriate jokes and contagious laughter. I say, disrupt my class again, I'm going to put you out. On a serious note, these students bring a whole new meaning to funny, especially in the classroom, and a little laughter is always appreciated. The female nominees for Class Clown are Haley Hubbard, Madison Miller, Raisa Norad and Moran Waldeselassie. And the winner is Haley Hubbard. The male nominees for Class Clown are Nehemiah Asumana, Xavier Cruz, Amr Magoub, Hussam El Kasowani, and, and the winner is Nehemiah Asumana. Awesome job, guys. Now we have Mr. and Mrs. Hendricks presenting the Dynamic Duo Award. Hey, hey, hey Phil seniors. seniors! They do everything together. You see them walking between classes, eating lunch together, and having sleepovers on the weekend. Um, the year after year, these friends have stuck by each other's sides, making friendships that will last forever. And the female nominees for Dynamic Duo are Hannah Dixon and Allison Habina, Elena Benyam and Ezriella Benyam, Elizabeth Hamad and Amrin Zeta, Simhar Arafain and Samia Burgess, and Amelia Henderson and Casey Gilson. And the winners are Hannah Dixon and Allison Habina. All right. The male nominees for best friends are Brandon Dew and Joshua Rodriguez, Ben Tyre and Hayden Page, Mason Bonner and Namish Sharisha, Sharitha, and Anch Gupta and Sabal Bata. And the winners are Ben Tyre and Hayden Page. We hope that you guys can stay just as good of friends as me and Mr. Hendricks. Now, let's give it up for Mr. Williams, who will be presenting the Social Butterfly Award. Go Hawks! Social Butterfly. These nominees socialize with a variety of groups. They do not stick to one pack of friends. They are well known around Hayfield for their persona and character. The female nominees for Social Butterfly are... Maha Nagash, Shamari Ublier, Emma Andreas, and Marina Pena. Our winner is Maha Nagash. 
The male nominees for Social Butterfly are Stefan Toussaint, Ethan Herlica, Craig Smith, and Chris Stevens. The winner is Stefan Toussaint. Making friends for you guys is really easy. Now let's welcome Mr. Lenza who will be presenting the Triple Threat Award. Go Hawks. Thank you, Mr. Williams. Welcome class of 2020. I'm here at Big L Academy in Distance Learning Land. And I have the honor to present the Triple Threat Oscar to your class. You know, there are some people in this world who were born what seems to be perfect. Great looks, intelligent, and some of the best athletes on their sports teams as well. The following nominees are the true definition of triple threat. The female nominees are Amelie Murphy, Tiffany Bowie, Scarlett Alexander, Sarah Wilson. And the winner is Amelie Murphy. Congratulations. The male nominees are Corbin Farrell, Daniel Peterson, Mason Bonner, Stefan Toussaint. And your winner is Daniel Peterson. You both sure have a bright future ahead of you now. And to present the next award for our class parents. Take it away, Mr. and Mrs. Hand. These students embody what it is to be a parent. They may be overly prepared on school trips with extra snacks or remind their friends to submit their assignments on time. They, they are always there with their friends' best interests at heart. The nominees for class mom are Abby Reeves, Jasmine Chang, Sydney Payne and Sandy Wong. And the winner is Abby Reeves. The nominees for Class Dad are Scott Good, Craig Smith, Ben Tyre, and Corbin Farrell. And the winner is Scott Good. Hey, thank you for being such a mature and caring friend. Wow. Now to present the high school sweethearts are the bushes. Roses are red, violets are blue. High school was sweet because I met you. The nominee for high school sweethearts are Alyssa Villar and Enzo Cabanas, Chanel Christie and Saval Bata, Alana Proctor and Matt Graziano, and Luke Bomer and Jasmine McCabe. And the winners are, drum roll, <laughs> Alyssa Villar and, and Enzo, Enzo Cabanas. Oh, you guys are too oh. cute. Let's please now welcome Mr. Grimm, who will, pre who will be presenting the Hayfield Wouldn't Be the Same Without Award. Hello class of 2020. It is Mr. Grimm and I'm here with the Academy Awards. My category today is HSS wouldn't be the same without you. First our female nominees. We have tonight Grimay, Raisa Norat, Shamari Ublier, and Naomi Morales. And the Oscar goes to Shamari Ublier. Congratulations. Now the male category. Our nominees are Gavin Rodrigue, Anson Trapani, Nas Battle, and Elvis Romero Vale. And the Oscar goes to, congratulations, Anson Trapani. Congratulations, everybody. Congratulations, 2020. So proud of you. Thank you, Mr. Grimm. Four years. Four years, guys is a long time to build a reputation of supporting and uplifting the class of 2020. The best of 2020 nominees commitment to the improvement and celebration of the senior class has carried through the years and will inspire students in the future classes. Now, 
The nominees for Best of 2020 Female is Tiffany Bowie, Danite Gurme, Olivia Henry, and Leah Solomon. Let's take a look. And the winner is Danite Gurme. All right, let's go for the Best of 2020 Male. Uh, we have James Albritton, Elvis Romeo Bell, Emmanuel Dantu, and Awad Gala Ledin. Now, and the winner is James Albritton. I'd like to say congratulations to all of our Class of 2020 Oscar winners. And to close, a final message from our host. Well, we hope that you all enjoyed sharing these last few moments together. We sure had a lot of fun hosting together. Right, Mr. Bush? Right on, Mr. Zywall. But there are a few people that we'd like to appreciate and recognize for all of their hard work with the production of the Senior Oscars. So we would like to thank Rebecca for her tireless efforts to create this event. Uh, she has been the main point of contact with admin and students throughout Hayfield. Um, she wrote individual scripts for each teacher to submit their videos and worked alongside Leah and Denite to create all the Google Forms that you filled out. So we thank you very much, ladies. And we need to give a huge shout out to Alyssa Villar for producing this video you're currently watching. Thank you for editing hundreds of minutes of footage, for adding all the finishing touches, for adding every nominee's picture, and for doing so within one week's time frame. We are so proud of you, Class of 2020. We love and miss you all so much. Have a wonderful rest of your evening. From all of Hayfield, good night.